Phoenix, Diana Taurasi was not the best player on her team Wednesday night. That was Brittany Griner. She was not the best guard on the floor. That was Chicago's Courtney Vandersloot. But Taurasi's greatest gift is not a skill so much as a genetic trait, the DNA in Diana, a badass quality that she carries everywhere and summons when she needs it most. It takes many forms. Here was one, Taurasi rising, sinking a 29-foot three-pointer and drawing a foul, then making the free throw, a four-point play that somehow felt both ridiculous and highly predictable. It was overtime of Game 2 of the WNBA Finals, after all. The Phoenix Mercury needed Taurasi to go full Taurasi, and so she did. Taurasi scored 8 points in overtime. There is no fear, even when she is so tired. Said Griner, that's the goat right there, okay? We know what D can bring. It doesn't matter how she starts the game. When it's crunch time, we have all the faith in the world that D is going to make clutch shots for us. She does it year in and year out. The finals now go to Chicago, tied 1-1. Tarasi probably cannot carry her team to the championship, she is 39, she has lost a step or two, and the sky are too good. But if Tarasi can carry the Mercury for one or two more critical stretches, that might be enough. For now, Phoenix has both life and hope. Chicago has a concern, Vandersloot, a breathtaking passer who hit a leaning layup over an outstretched grinder to force overtime, walked out with a boot on the left foot. She said she will be fine. The sky need her to be. Phoenix Mercury guard Diana Taurasi, 3, looks on against the Chicago Sky during the second half of Game 2 of the 2021 WNBA Finals at Footprint Center. Joe Camporeal slash USA Today Sports The Sky never should have let this game get to Taurasi time. They led for almost the entire game. They are the quicker and deeper team, switching and trapping on defense, getting to their spots faster on offense, 